Okay, I keep talking once in a long time about the 90mm anti-aircraft cannon I took apart at J.P. Fell Armory, North Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, in, I think, 1977. A man attempted to take it apart and was killed by the springs and the boogie mounts and all that stuff. Um... It's in the North Shore News. I read about it, and then I contacted um, J.P. Fell Armory as well as Amex Salvage, and basically they gave me the entire cannon, which I proceeded to take apart in sections like this shown here. This is the traverse mechanism that I'm next standing next to. Actually, I restored that. It was kind of damaged, but it took a a moving company to move these pieces into my place. I should have taken an old cannon and restored it, really. But this, you know, I talk about these things and nobody knows, you know, I have no pictures or anything except this clip or screenshot of BCTV News with uh, <coughs> Alan Edwards and Tony Parson who filmed me levitating stuff, okay? I uploaded an entire TV news story onto YouTube, but I just wanted to talk about this. It's got, uh, if you look very carefully, it's got a hydraulic control system by close to my hand, which is a kind of a knob you push down or lift up, and it's got hand wheels on it just below my hand. There you can see a round thing. That's a hand wheel. So that would traverse the whole cannon, and the elevation system was similar have a little different gearing design as well. And that I had too. Kind of sorry I got rid of them. Uh, anyway, uh, so that is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I mean, all of that was... Uh, 103 Thunderbird Squadron sold the Tamek Salvage for $200. Can you believe it? I mean, the can a complete cannon like this? Ooh. And, uh, okay, so then the fellow got killed trying to take it apart, and that's why I contacted the armory and then Amex Salvage who gave it to me. Be careful, I said, because we lost a man over it. Okay, I said I will. It's in somewhere in the North Shore News. Maybe somebody can look up the North Shore News archives and find the entire story. It'd be interesting to see it again. So, um... Yeah, it was an interesting piece. As I said, I should have taken the whole thing. It was, I was at 1458 East 29th Street, Lynn Valley, North Vancouver. Get a taxi to pick me up at uh, exactly 5 in the evening time or late noon so I get back and eat and do my work and load my goodies into the taxi. Or one time I had to get a truck to move this stuff. How? <laughs> um... But, yeah, I'm just going back in time, 1985, for Christ's sake. Holy Macintosh. But, yeah, that's some of the history. Uh, I have recently contacted gun collectors in Canada who trace down certain names, which I approach those names, and they keep saying, oh, well, we don't know you know, where it is and all this stuff. After all, I had a serial number. Unfortunately, I don't have that serial number, but um, it was a... Dan Jan and uh, Cliff Jan, gun collector buddies of mine and other folks in Vancouver, Canada who are trying to track it down. Uh, maybe Mike McArdle can do a story on this thing. I don't know. Or somebody out there who's interested in history. And how long did I work on this thing for? I think mm, a couple of months. Pe little bits and pieces at a time. And I would get, take my bicycle, and I, if I knew I was going to get some heavy stuff, I'd just call a taxi or call, had a taxi prearranged to pick me up at five. And oh, I came across all kinds of shims and heavy gears, bronze, brass gears that's so heavy you could hardly lift them. Worm style type of um, gears, and about 100 pounds, and the main gear is very heavy. Oh, but anyway, I had a lot of brass. I had all the mechanisms for uh, making elevation adjustments to the three-inch shells and all that stuff. I would adjust it. And I think that's in a video here somewhere. But I just want to touch base and talk about the 90mm 
M1 and 2 and whatever it is. Okay. 90 mm anti aircraft cannon. Quite a system. And indeed, the springs are massive in that thing. And the army was saying, oh, what? we took all the springs out at the airport. And there's quite a debate going on there for a while. But I just wanted to cover this real quick and talk about it. Okay, okay. <laughs>